Hey guys, so iOS 16.2 developer beta 3 has been out for a couple of days now. And as per usual, I like to come back a few days later after using the software and report back to you guys in terms of performance, battery, any improvements, any issues. Of course, in this video, I wanted to talk about a problem that I think Apple just can't fix on iPhones and Apple Watch. And we'll talk about that here in just a few seconds. I also like to talk about expected release dates for the next beta and of course, my thoughts on the software so far. So let's just get right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, the first thing I would like to talk about is features we're expecting to be released with iOS 16.2 that we haven't seen yet. Number one, that's going to be custom accessibility mode. This feature is going to be very, very useful, of course, for those visually impaired. You can go ahead and streamline your UI experience, get larger text throughout the UI, messages, settings, and all this good stuff is going to happen with custom accessibility mode. I'm looking forward to this feature. You'll be able to go ahead and choose different layouts on your device. This is a big feature for accessibility users but for those of you that like to have a custom personal experience on your device this will also help you do that as well so we're still waiting for this feature okay so custom accessibility mode should be dropping within the next beta which we'll talk about here in this video now I also like to talk about the security response in case you didn't watch my video Apple did release a new security response for iOS 16.2 this is the first time they do this these will be files that update on your iPhone for security purposes without having to update the OS of course, Apple has mentioned that this one was actually a test. So for those of you that haven't installed it, don't worry, it was just a test. As I mentioned on my video when I cover this, Apple will make a statement on a later date. They did, it's simply a test, but security response seems to be working and it looks like it's going to be a feature moving forward with iOS 16.2. Now, I wanna express my experience so far with the software as well, because aside from one of the bigger issues that I wanna talk about, there's also great improvements. For example, on the lock screen, I don't get any more freezing of the camera so that has been fixed here on iOS 16.2 I don't get any stuttering within the software itself when scrolling I did see some reports over on reddit it looks like those issues for the most part has been fixed for most users and the number one thing I would like to say is that the battery has definitely improved within the latest beta 3 so I'm happy to report that iOS 16.2 developer beta 3 improves on the battery because when Apple released 16.2 beta one battery was kind of terrible now it looks like it's very very much to improve on the latest beta now what is this problem that i'm talking about that i don't think apple can fix on the iPhone and the Apple Watch. Well, living here in Florida, we have a bunch of theme parks, which means I visit a lot of those and a lot of those do have roller coasters. Remember the reports where the Apple Watch and the iPhone will activate crash detection by accident if you get into a roller coaster that will go fast and stop quick and twist and turn. Because keep in mind, this feature works based on movement and speed and you know stopping quick and things like that. So crash detection, has definitely activated on me when I was on a roller coaster at the Magic Kingdom parks here in Florida. So I got into the roller coaster, and as you can see from this video here, once the roller coaster stopped, I was lucky enough to, I think at a three before it went off, I had the chance to actually turn it off and emergency services were not going to be called. But if the roller coaster would go a little longer, the crash detection would have actually called emergency services. And we're talking iOS 16.2, developer beta three, so it looks like this continues to be an issue. Apple will most likely continue to address this. On iOS 16.2, we now have an unintentional reporting system, but it looks like this continues to be an issue, especially on theme parks with roller coasters and things like that. And I think this is a problem that Apple can't fix. If the roller coaster ride was a little longer, my watch would have actually called emergency services, and that could have been a problem, me trying to explain that, right? But aside from that, I want to go ahead and say iOS 16.2 seems to be very, very very polished software battery has improved the next beta apple looks to be on a weekly release schedule it looks like november the 22nd on a tuesday apple will release most likely ios 16.2 developer beta 4 i'm hoping to see that custom accessibility mode come into play within the next beta and of course more improvements for the battery and more bug fixes let me know how the software is working for you if you're running the software on your device thank you for watching today's video guys and i'll see you on the next one Peace.